Welcome to One Mega Video Channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with your friends. In this video, we will see some of the Danish royal family members' rules and facts. This is part one of the video. Check the part two in the end. History of the Danish monarchy. If we think why and how exactly is Denmark a monarchy, well, back in the 10th century, a guy called Gorm the Old, who was buried 958 in Jelling in Jutland, consolidated power in what was previously a loosely unified nation, along with his son Harald the One, who was nicknamed as Bluetooth, who later became king. He moved the royal residence to Zealand. These are the first two kings who, with any certainty, can be dated and located in connection with the unification of Denmark. The two great ancient lines of the Danish royal house are the House of Oldenburg and the House of Glucksburg. The first representative of the House of Oldenburg became king in the year 1448, and later the last king of the House of Oldenburg was King Frederick VII, as he had no heir to the throne. In the year 1863, naturally, the first representative of the House of Glucksburg became king, and the present royal family are direct descendants of this royal house in Denmark. While most of the time constitutional monarchy, Denmark's rulers have been kings. Perhaps the most influential one was Queen Margaret I from 1387 till 1412. In a period of war and political games, she was capable to unite Denmark, Norway, and Sweden into one powerful region and increase the crown's influence. Her glory is spread far and wide among Scandinavian region. The Danish monarchy has a long tradition that was developed over the centuries. The Denmark monarchy history and societal influence can be seen in many parts of the Danish capital, such as the architecture of Christian IV, born in 1588, and the changing of the guard, which is tourist attraction. You may also be lucky enough to bump into one of the Danish royal family members on their bikes or in a shop. They lead quite public and relatively normal lives. Let us see in this video ahead some of the royal facts about Danish royals. The current Danish queen, Queen Margaret II, can trace her royal lineage the whole way back to the first Danish king, Gorm the Old. It is said the Danish monarchy is one of the most ancient in the world. It is over 1,200 years old. The Danish royal family is famous and celebrated for having saved the vast majority of Denmark's Jewish population during the war. Recently, Prince Hendrik chose to have his body cremated instead of burying on his death. This ended the age-old tradition of the royal couple being buried together. For religious and cultural reasons, the monarch of Denmark must be a Lutheran. Denmark Royal Palace Architecture. The Amalienburg Palace is actually a collection of four palaces together. They became the official homes of the Danish royal family following a fire happened at the Christianburg Palace in the year 1794. Built in a Rococo style, each house has a different name. The Danish queen resides in the winter in Christian the Ninth Palace every year. Queen Margaret II occupies three of four palaces during different seasons of the year. In the winter months, the Amalienburg Palace in Copenhagen. In the summer season, she usually visits either Marcellusburg Palace in Aarhus or Grastein in Jutland. In the spring and autumn months, you will usually find Danish royal enjoying the surroundings of Frederiksberg Palace. Can you get tickets to visit the home of the Danish royal family? 
Yes, you can visit part of the Amalian Bug Palace in the Amalian Bug Museum area. It includes untouched rooms from previous monarchs as well as exhibitions and a banquet hall. You can get your tickets online on official website or consider a city pass that allows access to many tourist attractions in Denmark. What is best time to visit Denmark's royalty and opening hours? The Amalian Bug Palace is open from 10 am to 5 pm for visitors. From the end of October to 30th December, it is only open from 11 am to 4 pm. Throughout the year, the palace is closed on Monday. You can check the official website in advance of visiting in case there are any seasonal or ceremonial variations. Denmark is blessed by nature and is a tourist friendly destination. How to travel for visiting Denmark's royalty in Amalienburg Palace? The most likely royal palace for you to visit as a tourist to Copenhagen will be the Amalienburg Palace. Easy way to visit is by taking the subway from the from the central train station in the city to Marmorkirken station. Then it's just a 5 minute walk to the palace and grounds. The Danish royal family includes the Queen of Denmark and her family. All royal members hold the title of Prince or Princess of Denmark with the style of His or Her Royal Highnesses, Hans or Hendes, Kongileg, Hochhead, or His or Her Highness, Hans or Hendes, Hochhead. Today Margaret II, born on 16th of April 1940, is the Queen Regnant of Denmark with her late husband, Prince Consort Henrik. She has two sons, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Joachim of Denmark. Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark is the heir apparent to the throne of Denmark. While Crown Prince Frederick become king, he will be King Frederick X of Denmark. This is the end of part 1 of the video. Check the part 2 over here. Which are the things which you were not aware earlier and have newly learned from this video? And what do you love about the royal family of Denmark? And what are the known and unknown facts that you are aware about the Danish royal family. Share your thoughts to comment below, like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching one mega video channel. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.